What is going on YouTube? This is Erica for the win and uh, I was listening to Loveline this week at work and if you know Loveline you know that they do an open forum during each show. It's where Dr. Drew and Mike they ask the audience a question and then the audience calls in with their answers and during this show they asked what inanimate object have you had sex with? And of course people were calling in it was funny but this girl in particular stole the show right here, at least for me, and I had to share it with you guys. I found the ultimate gamer girl right here, <laughs> for sure. So yeah, there's a lot of sexual content in this video, so listener discretion advised, and tell me what you guys think. I hope you enjoy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Um, I'm excited to talk to our very first young lady on this topic. Hello, Zoe. Uh, hi. Hi. Hey there. Um... I'm sorry. Yes, Zoe, what did you have sex with? I had sex with a Nintendo 64 controller. <laughs> How does that work? She put it in her pussy. No, no, but I mean, they're, aren't they kind of irregular? Yeah. Um, yeah, you that's know a good... the middle part of the Nintendo 64 where the controller part is? Um, I don't really remember the 64 controller that is well. That, is that the handheld one? The one that... That's a Wii. Yeah, That's a Wii. Oh. It's the handheld one. I put that there, and um, I was playing The Legend of Zelda at the time, and I made Link go where the where it like vibrates at, um, huh. and <laughs> that's... <laughs> this this is a pro. You know, women are so much better at this. It's, than so, men. it's so creative. There's a story. It's fantastic. Guys are just grow like guys just grab stuff and and have sex with it. Yeah, it's very like, very. She's like ABC. Yeah. How? Uh, I hate that. How old were you? I was about sixteen. Okay, so you were you were grown up enough that it's not too gross. How um, did you think to do that? Because it vibrated. Yeah. It vibrated. Is that why? Yeah. It vibrated. Did you did you enjoy it? Was it a uh, pleasurable experience? Yes. It doesn't keep vibrating though, does it? It does. I think if you were to like the thing about the Nintendo sixty four controller, I remember from playing Goldeneye, the James Bond game, which yeah. was like awesome. Um, it had like a vibrating response thing. So like when you'd be pulling the trigger of the machine gun, it would like do 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 do. You know. It, oh, so in Zelda, I would imagine when Link like runs into a wall, it continuously walks. It oh, would just continually I vibrate. See. Is that how it works? Um. No. I. Made him go into the middle of Kakariko Village, and in the middle there's a tunnel where you can just stand there, and if you want, you could put a bomb on top of it and stuff, and I just kind of stood there and let it vibrate. Awesome. <laughs> you, he sure did go to a valley. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Wow. That's uh, all I can say. 1-800-L-O-V-E-191 is the number. I love this. Uh, I love it so much. Well, I like it when we talk to the women because they uh, it's such creativity.